Hey everybody, welcome back to the MedBros channel. So today I was gonna do a video and hop on the bandwagon of doctors and medical students reacting to a bunch of shows. And the reason I'm doing this is because one of the shows caught my eye that is uh, picking up lately. And that show is called Cells at Work. So Cells at Work is not your typical medical show like House or Scrubs or something like that. It's actually an anime, so it's a Japanese style cartoon. I thought I'd pick it up and do my own medical student reacts to Cells at Work. I'm pretty, pretty excited. I have no idea what this anime is about. I'm expecting it to be some kind of like scrubs or something like that uh, in anime form so like some intense OR stuff or something like that I have no clue what this is about and we can figure it out together if you've never heard about it and if you know what's going on you guys can uh, enjoy watching my first time reaction to it uh, let's get right into it hopefully it has a nice classic anime style intro here let's watch yep it is <laughs> it's classic anime style okay Alright, it's kind of, it's kind of smooth. What is this? This show's like literally like animated, like red blood cells and T cells and things like that. I see. Okay, <laughs> I was totally thinking this was going to be something else, guys. Interesting. Okay, I, I think I'm a little more excited for the show now. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So it's like in the body. These characters are in the body. Got it. Red blood cell. <laughs> cool. Episode 1, Pneumococcus. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be cool. I wonder who she gave that oxygen to. Who was that character? That was pretty fast. What is this? The endothelial cell of the tree. This bacteria seems like a pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Probably T cells, dendrites, natural killer cells, yeah, there we go. white blood cells. I wonder how specific they're gonna get. Well, the white blood cells are pretty cool, so like they're the police probably of this show. White blood cell neutrophil division. <laughs> so yeah, neutrophils are usually your first line of defense. White blood cells, specifically neutrophils. I wonder how. I, I guess they're stabbing him and stuff instead of doing like phagocytosis or something like that. That would be kind of weird, I guess. For those of that don't know, neutrophils like eat stuff up by phagocytosis, so like they engulf it and they kill it with their granules. It's the first time the red blood cells see the white blood cells? That's kind of weird. She must be new. So right now I'm pretty interested to see how detailed they're gonna go with this. Oh, she's. Got a crush on white blood cell? Okay, interesting. So the red blood cell into the white blood cell, for sure. It's funny. White blood cells don't think it's all yet. Oh, so we got some that they missed. <laughs> That's the one that they missed. I never thought it was that bacteria. It looks like bacteria, a bunch of flagella and stuff coming off of it. Kimbray. What the heck is that attack? Mm, some evasion strategies. Oh, capsule? Interesting. Usually it just prevents phagocytosis. They don't squirt it out like that, but I mean, I guess so. Interesting. So yeah, that's how bacteria avoid neutrophil phagocytosis, like I said, usually it engulfs them, but you can't really get around something that has a capsule on it, because there's all sorts of like, receptors that have to be, um, there's all sorts of receptors that have to interact to signal a bunch of things, so if you have a capsule, you can't really interact with the receptors on top of white blood cells to signal killing. So pneumococci, some of the most, it's, it's, 
The most common cause of meningitis, otitis media, which is like an ear infection, meningitis. Um, so, pretty common bug that infects us and causes a bunch of different infections. If they went into more detail on, on stuff like this, like, dude, screw studying medical school. Like, this is way better than sketchy as well. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, that's a little baby. So yeah, your neutrals come first, which would be your police, and then like your more special forces, I guess, would be your T cells, your helper T cells, and your cytotoxic T cells. <laughs> oh my God, they do go into some details. I'm gonna pause it at 12.36. So uh, the bacteria can be different kinds of hemolytic. So there's different ways to define them. It can be alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic, or uh, gamma hemolytic. So what that basically means, the hemolytic part, is they blow up red blood cells. They attack red blood cells, they lyse them, which means they just destroy them. Um, the alpha, beta, and gamma just refer to how they're gonna look when you plate them on a, on a Dish. For us in medical school, it's good to know little details. They'll sometimes tell you that, hey, this infection that's infecting this guy is alpha hemolytic. That kind of narrows it down to a certain set of bugs that can uh, be classified as that. So, so far the show's pretty uh, accurate. So we just start off seeing the red blood cell, you get endothelial injury, which is endothelial cells are the ones that line your, your blood vessels. So somehow this bacteria broke through, maybe this person that were inside got an injury or something um, and damaged the blood vessel. When the blood vessel gets damaged, uh, you get a bunch of flow factors that get released. IL-1, IL-6, IL-8, TNF-alpha, a bunch of different things, uh, histamine, um, from mast cells gets uh, degranulation, a bunch of things happen, and uh, the, these, these factors will attract a bunch of uh, neutrophils and uh, your first line of defense, your natural kill cells, all these kind of first line of defense are gonna get there. That's what we saw with the red blood, uh, the white blood cells showing up, um, and apparently stabbed a bunch of those bacteria. Some of them can escape, like we saw that one escape, and if it causes havoc and comes into contact with uh, T cells, then you're going to move on to the next level. You're not at innate immunity at that point. You're not at um, just a first line of defense. You're going to get more specialized defense. So these T cells are um, made so they have huge variability, and uh, and the bacteria that we're going after in this case is pneumococcus, which is super super common. Um, and pneumococcus is the number one cause of pneumonia, otitis media, meningitis, and sinusitis. So pretty common diseases. Um, and uh, some of them can be pretty serious if you don't, if, if the bacteria gets in the wrong place. Like meningitis is the uh, inflammation of the layer around your brain and your spinal cord. And if you get that infected, it can be really, really bad. Uh, it starts off with headache, uh, fever, neck stiffness, and it can progress really quickly and um, super dangerous. You need, you need antibiotics immediately. So um, these guys are hopefully trying to stop it before it gets serious because a lot of the case it's going to be killed around this stage where these T cells are going to go around and kill it. So that's where we're at now. Uh, some other fun things like the little plate that baby is walking around because usually you get this really big cell called a megakaryocyte and then that gets chopped up a, a bunch of times. You get these tiny little things called platelets, um, which I'm sure you've heard of, but uh, that's why they were probably little babies because usually you get a big me megakaryocyte that's chopped up into very, very tiny little pieces. And on a blood smear, they're usually one of the, some of the smallest um, cells. Uh, and they don't have a nucleus, so that is funny. I like them, I like the playlist. So uh, let's just, that's a quick update of where we're at now and what's going on. So pretty accurate, like I said, uh, really good uh, representation of how your body uh, reacts to an infection and what the first line of defense is, the second line of defense, and what's going around uh, and, and the roles of these cells. So pretty good so far. <laughs> it's pretty entertaining as well. So far, platelets, my favorite character. So I've watched enough anime to know that she's probably going to encounter that bacteria and she should probably watch out because bacteria especially pneumococcus are known to take a ride on red blood cells so she should probably check herself especially oh, okay. there you go <laughs> yeah there he is <laughs> 
I knew it. So sometimes they take these bacteria can take a ride on red blood cells. So she basically just transported them all the way. <laughs> That's what really it so I went to the rescue. Ben Kyobuso. Or that you have to get you so to it. That's my oh, see, it's, like I said, it's all about the receptors, so... These bacteria have something called PAMPs on them, pathogen associated molecular products or something like that. And white blood cells have these receptors that bind to that. And that's what's on the head. I guess, my guess is those T-cells are going to show up, let's see. So like you're breathing airways and apparently got caught in mucus and then I would say he's getting coughed on. I don't know about sneezed on, but sure. Bye bye Kinda. <laughs> bye bye Kinda. Achoo. Sneeze one launch successful. <laughs> oh man. That's probably what's happening to me right now. <coughs> pretty, pretty good anime, guys. It's pretty legit. I think if they put in more details, this could be a legit replacement for Sketchy, and you can learn all your micro, you can learn some of your pathology with this. A completely different one I thought it was gonna be, guys. I thought it was gonna be like uh, an anime about like the OR or something like that, and scrubs and like doctors or something. So that was actually really cool. I'm very interested to see if we do want to go into the next episodes. Let me know if you guys want me to go into even more of the science part. I don't know how detailed I want to go with that. I don't think it's very interesting for you guys to know what those platelets are doing with uh, if you get damaged, there's like Von Wildebrand factor and ADP being released. Like I don't know if you guys want that much detail. Or I can react to something that's a little more, um, a little more actual. Uh, medicine if you guys want that as well. I feel like a lot of the other doctors like Dr. Mike and Dr. Hope They're doing a great job of reacting at that stuff um, But I just definitely wanted to get this one out because uh, I do watch a lot of anime I do know a lot about this kind of basic sciences that's going on So this was interesting to react to and it was definitely really fun and this one kept it really basic Maybe episode two or three we can go into a little bit more detail about what's going on This was just a basic infection, but they did have some pretty funny stuff how it, how that by uh, that bacteria caught a ride with that red blood cell and it is interesting to know uh, now you guys know what pneumococcus is if anybody asks you what's the most common cause of pneumonia community acquired pneumonia or meningitis you guys will be able to answer that um, and that's why I guess they use that bug because it's really common so thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel check me out on Instagram and check out the rest of uh, the stuff going on on this channel and at Core Beauty's channel and thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one Huh? <coughs> this would have been fun if you wanted to do this with me. Wait, did you just start? Uh, it's pretty basic science. It's okay though. I feel yeah, like I, I feel like I'm already so. not ready. So. Oh God, everybody! Ugh. He's screaming because he's locked up. Cells at work. Cells at work. Uh, Starkey's at work. Babies at. Alright, right, come on, little right baby. Here. Get right out of here. Alright, go. Alright, come on, Starks. Come on, come on. He just, he just knows that you're busy, so he wants to. I know, he always doesn't want to do the opposite thing.